Hey, what's up guys? This is Oztech. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys if it's worth it to install a subwoofer on a Mazda CX-5. So this is my Mazda CX-5 and I got the Grand Touring Premium version. So it's got the Bose um, sound system on here. It already has a subwoofer. Why do I need to install a subwoofer? Well, let's just go into a mini review of this um, Mazda CX-5 Bose system. So I drove this car for almost 11,000 miles. And uh, yeah, I've been using it quite a bit every day if you got the bow system and if you're like a crazy bass head or a audiophile like me then you'll know that the bow subwoofer isn't enough um it will fill the cabin up with sound but it won't shake everything um the problem with this bow system is it's over processing the signal so every song sounds different on this system so if you have the um touring version without the bose you're a bit lucky because that system do not have a lot of a, a lot of processing on that um, amplifier. So um, you're lucky on that. But if you have a Bose system like me, then you're a little bit out of luck because everything is processed. So it's like, uh, for example, if you listen to one song, the bass might be there. But if you switch over to another song, the bass is completely gone. Um, this system has a cutoff at 45 hertz so if you're going to install a custom subwoofer then it's not going to play down low if you're going to tap onto the um, subwoofer the rear spare tire subwoofer so uh, what I have it set up is I have um, go to settings so you got to go to settings go to sound and audio settings I have it set up to both stereo mode linear so what this this what this does is it flats out the sound a little bit you can see the diagram that it goes here a little bit not at the back a little bit so it's gonna push the door speakers a little bit more it's not gonna rely on the woofer that much and what that does is it lets the door speaker shine a little bit and when there when the subwoofer comes on it also comes on and if you use the standard mode you can see the diagram is everything that's gonna be super duper bassy so it's gonna sound really muddy and crap like that so that's not good so keep it linear like me and keep center point off so it doesn't mix it doesn't over process the sound this is how you get the best sound possible and audio pilot just basically mixes like noise canceling uh, like the headphone kind of way only when you drive um, if you go on the rest I basically have everything on stock so I have a uh, kicker comp RT 12 inch so it's the little version not the little version but it's a 12 inch subwoofer with a passive radiator mainly reason why I got this is because the Mazda CX-5 is known to have not a lot of room so that's a limiting factor and you guys can see you guys might ask oh where's the um, amplifier well it's under here it's very very tight down there so um, yeah, I'll show you guys like a how-to later, but it's a SCAR Audio 800 watt. And I tapped the signal off the Bose stock woofer. I took these screws out. So all you have to do is take these screws out and up comes there and there's a subwoofer there. You can um, unsolder the uh, terminals and solder it to a wire, basically. That's how I did it. And yeah, let's go listen to it. I don't have the stock installed here. So you guys can't hear the stock, you gotta go on a YouTube video, find another person that does um, speaker reviews that has the Bose system. Uh, you guys can hear that first. So yeah, let's go here. I'm gonna go to using the Apple CarPlay and I'll show you guys how it sounds.
So this is the Mazda CX-5 subwoofer install. So it's extremely simple. This is the original Bose subwoofer. I've taken all of these screws out and run a tap into the woofer. So I disconnected the woofer in there. I run a tap, it comes out from the port. And I don't want to cut into the original cabling because what if one day I want to resell this vehicle? I don't want it to be like all cut up. So I basically tapped into the original woofer and I ran it to a RCA input to the uh, amplifier right here. This one is a 800 watt SCAR audio amplifier. And I ran the battery into the terminal, the ground, and the blue wire, which is the REM. And then this here is the subwoofer output. So let me go to the front and show you guys. So the front right here, I've wired the positive end with the fuse. Currently it doesn't have a fuse in there because I'm trying to do something. I don't want it to short out with the ground. It's basically connected directly into this terminal. Pretty easy stuff. And it goes all the way back there to the rubber grommet. I didn't want it to I didn't want to drill any holes into this um, car, so I didn't um, drill it in, into the wall up there. So I don't know if you guys can see. Right here, and right there, you see, this is the battery wire. I basically poked the hole with the knife, and then now it runs to here, and it goes to the fuse box, and it's um, right here, right? And it runs through here, basically take like a coat hanger and straighten it, and then basically run it through all over here. You can easily remove this by pulling it like this. And I don't want to do it right now, but it's really easy. Just pull this out and run it all the way through. It should go all the way down there. And open this one. It should go all the way here and under there. You should do that with the battery wire. See, from all the way there, it comes out here and it goes into here and then so another thing you guys gotta do is the rem wire okay so the rem wire i got a fuse tap on amazon this is the fuse tap it basically goes here it's one under the one uh, 15 the blue one you basically slide inside like this and now you have a 12 volt uh output you can use this to run like LED lights and other accessories also because I have this is my LED I have connected to this here and then the REM is also connected so basically right here I have it see the blue wire is the REM for the woofer amplifier I have basically crimped it along with another red wire to connect other accessories that uses 12 volts so right here is when the car turns on It'll, this 12 volt will open so basically the, it tells the amplifier to turn on or if you have any other uh, any other accessories like me it will turn the uh, lights on if you have led lights like i don't have any ignition right now so let me turn the ignition now ignition is on should have a should have lights oh, oh. no key detected so i gotta come here a little bit to turn it on all right, now it's on. And you see that the LED lights are on. And if I go to the rear to check on a subwoofer amplifier. Oh, it's not on because I don't have the fuse on. So yeah, let me turn the car off and show you guys where to do the ground. Since I show you guys how to run the battery wire already. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Use this tool for the tires to to unbolt this center piece right here.
So here's the centerpiece. You can take the wolf out like this. So I have the ground. This is the ground wire directly on here. So when I set the woofer down, the original factory woofer, and use this, screw it down, it will also connect with this, and this is the ground. So it goes to the amplifier. This is easy. You don't have to drill anything. You don't got to do anything because for cars, you want to keep it factory, right? So it doesn't depreciate value. For this kind of system, if you don't want this anymore, you can just take it all apart and it look like you never touched it. The amplifier comes with a gain knob. I suggest you guys keep it at the minimum because it this Bose is tuned already to its factory it's not a full signal you're getting this is a uh, 45 Hertz cutoff so it's very annoying so you have to like keep the gain at the minimum you don't want to go up because it's gonna sound really weird and yeah that's about it so um if you really want to install a woofer and you don't care about the 45 Hertz cutoff essentially what this system is going to do is it's going to boost the stock subwoofer output so whatever the stock factory sounds like it's just gonna boost it up make it louder so with the stock woofer the mirror won't go shaking like that with this custom install it will shake the mirror a little bit you'll feel the bass a lot more and then you can even feel your like hair like vibrating which is cool but it's not going to increase like regular custom install because uh, there's a cutoff with the stock Bose amplifier which sucks um yeah it, this is a uh, good system if you want to just like extend the level of this Bose subwoofer if you want to I don't recommend you guys getting like those big boxes because those are meant for setups that are not limited by the stock amplifier so if you have if you got those big like boomy boxes and hook it up to this kind of system it's not gonna perform so you're gonna waste your money so if you want if you guys want to install i suggest the 12 inch version and keep the gain on the um on the amplifier subwoofer amplifier low because um this Bose is gonna like have process signal so you don't want to over dramatic it because i did blow the original 12 inch subwoofer that i got uh, i got the replacement from kicker which is nice um another gripe is you guys can see i keep it on 35 volume because the processor on the bose if you go over 35 essentially the bose will, the the woofer will stop going louder and the rest the door speakers and the tweeters will continue to be louder essentially what bose is doing right here is since the original stock bose woofer is really tiny is only a four inch driver it, they don't want to like blow it up so they keep it at like 35 so essentially maximum you can go is 35 before all your door speaker starts to like overtake it um and another issue is if you have the gain on the subwoofer amplifier too high and you have your volume on the system too low the bass is gonna over dramatically overdo everything which sucks here because that's why you have to keep the gain on the amplifier low but not too low because it'll be like you're not installing if you keep it too low so keep it like a quarter away and even if you have a low volume the bass will not overshadow all the all the music but yeah uh in the maza community there is people that um find a way to circumvent the bow system a lot of people did it on a um Mazda 6, which is the same exact platform that the CX-5 is running on. Um, they basically essentially took apart the whole entire car and they find the wires and they tap it in, which is really, really hard. Uh, not easy, not a good way to do it if you want to keep your warranty. Because, yeah, you don't want to take your car all apart. But if you have the grand, if you if you have the touring version of this car, which don't have the Bose subwoofer or Bose system, you can legit tap it onto the door speakers or you can legit buy one of those um, like harness, wire harness. You can le legit take your glove box out and there's the amplifier harness. You connect it and it will take the signal from the amplifier, which is full frequency. You can do that. You can wire it back to your subwoofer. You're going to get a best unprocessed signal from that if you have the touring version, which I don't have. I have the Bose system. 
Um, will I recommend it? Yes, if you want the extra extension of the base, just basically extending the lows on the factory unit. Number two, if you want to shake everything, if you want to feel like your brains are shaking out, no. This is not going to make you have that. But then, if you're just a person like me, which likes really good sound, which um, likes just great sound that has a little bit of to it, this is a good thing. And if you guys are feeling the stock factory subwoofer isn't enough and you guys want to just get an extra kick, this is a good system to get. But if you guys have the 20 model with double with other boats you guys are lucky and <laughs> we are not lucky at all because what i noticed is when i disconnect the subwoofer and i just play no subwoofer the door speakers barely work at 35 so the boards the door speakers aren't doing anything i actually wish if the door speakers are actually pushed a little bit harder like um, this way you can have a better sound stage because uh, you're not gonna all you're, you're not gonna all hear all oh, subwoofer. That's it. The mid range mid range on here is a little bit lacking. The tweeter on here a little bit harsh. It's not the best system ever, but this is a Mazda. It's not like a luxury brand. It is premium, but it's not up there yet. They can do a lot to improve their system. Uh, like for seeing how Mazda will improve their system on the CX50, or maybe they're just gonna bring this shitty system over again, which is. Uh, not good if they want to go premium but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial slash bow system review on the CX-5 again this is Ryan and this is a Mazda CX-5 2021 Grand Touring Premium um, I'll see you guys next time on more videos if you guys are satisfied give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye